<laughs> That's why we had to buy this boat. When we saw that feature, we're like, we have to have it. By the way, we are here in the con cockpit <laughs> oh, with dang. Chris and Cherie of Technomaria. Hello, hello. And we're going to take a quick cruise uh, down the Miami River today and uh, I'll translate. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Got noise. Oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. And I'm watching a plane is gonna pass uh -huh. over any minute now. But anyway, the deal is uh, um, the mechanic doesn't speak English and we don't, don't speak Spanish. So I'm going to translate. We know uh, mañana really. Mañana. Well. We know mañana. Yeah, that's We've what they that always word. they always <laughs> tell you mañana. <laughs> <laughs> but um, of course, there's always a noise in the marina, and there's a, a guy working there, and there's a plane flying overhead. But it's Miami, you know, the airport is smack, smack in the middle of the city, so that's what happens. You can see the control tower right there down the river. Actually, yeah, you're probably good. I'll zoom in. I'll, I'll take out the good camera <laughs> and zoom in. But yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm very glad to finally have met Chris and Cherie here at Technomaria. They are like the, the experts in a mobile internet technology. So if, if you guys don't know them. Check them out. And what's your website again? Uh, so we've got our personal travel stuff is under Technomadia, and we've been on the road full time for 12 years now. Yeah, 12 years. And uh, we also run the Mobile Internet Resource Center, which is where we do all of our mobile internet help for RVers and cruisers. And that's uh, mobileinternetinfo.com. All right. Well, uh, at some point today, we're going to get on the road or on the on water. The water. We're, we're going to go that way, though. Yes. Oh. That way is That's okay. right. That's the airport. That's <laughs> yeah, that east way. west. You know, yeah, you know I get disoriented You're sometimes. <laughs> well, we were just waiting for the mechanic to arrive, and he is here now. So off we go. We are not quite in the river yet, this is one of the many branching canals, but it is very nice to see the city from this perspective, see people's backyards, I guess if your backyard is on the water you really can't expect too much privacy, can you? This to the left is a triangular island called Jest Island, surrounded by boats. Check out this rusting boat. I don't think this one is sailing anytime soon. And check out this other boat, full of mattresses and bicycles and old Mitsubishis.
how the filters um, control? <laughs> it, it, it is. I think they heard me and they seem to be opening the bridge, so I guess I did it right. Yeah, be sure to thank her when you're yep. at through. Yep. For the first time, here we go. I hear the bells. We're about to pass under 836, the Dolphin Expressway. Actually, fun fact, Miami is the only city in which the words Dolphin and Palmetto will bring you stress. <laughs> and those are the names of our two often congested expressways, uh, particularly where they intersect. <laughs> Well, this is a certainly a part of Miami I had never seen before. We are approaching downtown and we obviously don't fit under that bridge. And we have liftoff. There's a Casablanca seafood. The Scottish Rite Temple. The Flagler Bridge. And the high rise we once considered moving into. I'm glad we didn't. Where would I have put Minitini the trailer? I used to see these fishing boats all the time when I used to work at Brickle. And I guess this is where they dock. Waiting for the first street bridge to open here. They have a bunch of food trucks here, even an airstream. Isn't this what used to be the, called the big fish? I, I could be wrong, I don't know. There's the I-95 overpass, and more fishing boats. And Jose Marti Park here. There was a manatee in the water, but I missed it. There's the Miami Circle, which is an archaeological site, and I believe they discovered it when they were digging the foundation for the Icon skyscraper. And that's Brickle Key.
Uh, we took the boat a little into the inner coastal to do the sea trial, you know, to make sure everything with the new propeller and drive shaft was working correctly. And let me tell you, Miami looks so much nicer from the water. Just like that, my cruise on Why Not was over, as Chris and Cherie continued north on the Great Loop. How is it that they say in maritime terms, uh, fair winds and following seas? Well, happy travels. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word, and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.